All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, big shout out to everyone who's watched episode one so far. 24 hours, a thousand views, over a hundred likes. Muchly appreciated, so thank you and all the new subscribers as well. I think over 50 subscribers in the past 24 hours as well, so thank you very much. Today, we're going to get the first league game of the season done. I'm going to show you a few transfers. We've done bits, not much, more, squ more squad players more than anything else. Um, we've built a nice little tactic, kept it very simple, nothing flash, no high press, just basic, and it seems to have done the trick in pre-season. Before we get into it, smash a like on today's video for me, muchly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, do that for me as well. It'd be great to get another 100 likes on the, today's video. Apologies about all the mess in the background, we've rejigged things in the room, um, hopefully... Um, Hopefully a green screen will be on the order tomorrow for Black Friday. All right, guys, let's get into it. I, must, I think I'm a special one. Okay, start of the season, we've had a little bit of good news. We did manage to get a kit deal. I think it was a kit deal. It was 235 grand a month. Uh, sorry, not a month, I wish. 235 grand a season. Over five years, a bit of a killer in case we sort of like get in the top divisions, but it's money that we desperately needed. Obviously, we started the season 2 million in debt. We're already into that now. Um, but hopefully, the start of the season, the cup run might bring us a little bit of money in. We've had a very, very good pre-season. Let me show you what I've brought in. Nothing major. They've all, they're all loans. The, the, the two areas that I really wanted to strengthen was up front. We're playing Mendy, um, the key player from episode one. Um, we're using him as a target man support. There was no one else in the club that could do that. If he dropped out, he does go on international duty as well, which is a bit of a killer. So I needed to bring a, re a replacement in for him. I've brought Pedro Martello in. On loan, I think we're paying 120 quid a week. We're paying for him, so three star. He can do a variety of positions if we need to sort of like look at changing it. Six foot three. He's got a load of load of blue numbers. His finishing's decent. Heading's okay. Pace, jumping reach 15. Six foot three. He's a backup. I think a very very good backup at this level. Second one in George Pereira. Back up again, we remember we've got a third, I think our centre midfield has a 35 year old and a 33 year old. We're playing box to box midfielder and a ball winning midfielder in there. So the other players in the squad were more advanced playmakers, Mazales. We didn't have anyone else that could really go in like for like. He came up once again on loan. We, we really struggled to sign anybody. Scouts didn't come back with much or the scout didn't come back with much. Um, but he can do a couple of jobs for us in the middle of midfield. He can tackle a little bit, 12 tackling, 12 work rate vision. It's, it's just a backup. I'm hoping that Samedo and Pedrosa, I think it is, can stay fit for as long as possible. But he is in, along with Leo Costa, uh, Leo Costa another loanee, six foot, can do midfield as well, back up in there. And he also has a backup right back, another area that we kind of only had one player in. So he comes in on loan, paying absolutely nothing of his wages, which is good. I think for this level we might get away with it and then the pick of the bunch Ayub Jabari on loan from Caen is it? I think that's right um advanced forward decent dribbler finishing first touch all decent determination 18 physicals not great pace okay but he's had a decent impact four goals four assists um he actually missed a penalty in the last game as well so he's had a very very good impact only two star now but five star you never know what deals might be able to be done in the future. That is it. No one's out. Tactic-wise, we are rocking as basic as you can get. I think a couple of reasons. Um, one, I'm still looking at how the FM21 match engine work goes out. I didn't have a set pattern of play that I wanted to do. At first, we did look at playing an advanced playmaker in here, or a wide playmaker. And then with the players that we've got to come on, um, in particular players such as Camo Camo, 21-year-old Mozambique, very quick. Well, not very quick, but quick for this division. Um, another one, South African, Segota, 14 pace as well. So another player that can have an impact. And then Pinto, the first choice, is very good at crossing. 
So then what I thought is, right, we'll have we'll just play with two wingers. I did have a, a sort of like a wing back overlapping at that point, but I thought, no, we'll be a little bit defensively solid. And we're just on positive. Team instructions for me as well, very basic. Hit crosses early because obviously we've got the big man in there and Jabari is also over six foot. Um, high tempo because that's just a natural thing for me. Short kicks. Um, distribute to the centre half just so we can get playing a little bit. I didn't want to put ball playing defenders on. I just want them to have the ball and maybe lay it off to sort of like midfielders, wingers, left backs and get us building from there. No, no real risky passes from them. Um, and then out of possession, we're just a little bit more urgent. Um, preventing short distribution so they kick it down the middle. We get stuck in because that's how I play. And uh, yeah, that's it on posit positive mentality. Box to box midfielder. Pedrosa and Semedo, there's Semedo, 35, Pedrosa, oh no, Pedrosa's young, 23, so we got, we have got a little bit of legs in there, um, Zakina on the right, he, he looks good, he's been injured in pre-season unfortunately, he's not had the greatest average ratings of 6.5, but, but I think in the games that I've seen so far, he's, he's done alright, Mendy has been in an international duty but managed to get two goals, two assists, uh, and I think that's about it. The defence isn't the most solid. Mano's not done bad, but once again, 33. So, so we've got a decent left back. Um, we haven't been really tested. We've been unlucky, and we've we've been unlucky in the games that we've played. So we've played Monaco, who put out a very strong team. They had Ben Yedda. I think Ben Yedda actually scored. Um, ben Yedda. They had Fabregas. They had the lot. Losing one 0 at home was no shame at all. And we beat Santa Clara 2-1. I believe, yeah, they're in the top division. So we did well there. By the way, I'll just show you um, Mendy's goal. Right, so here he goes. Little one-two with Neves. Neves is a youngster, by the way. I'll show you him in a minute. There he goes. Whoop! Drops the keeper on his ass. Dinks him in. Beautiful finish. Um, so I wanted to have a look around what players we had in the youth team. Just so I could promote one. The board do want us to... It's one of the ambitions is to, um, yeah, develop players using the club's youth system. So I thought, right, we'll get one in. And we've brought in Hugo Neves. As you could see, he's a bit young in this one. He's only 17 years old, but he's he's got a little bit of pace, five star, four star potential. He's yeah, it's just a backup basically. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to be quite good this year, and I can get away with sort of like playing a few of the youngsters to give them some game time. Um, then we beat Belenese, who were sort of like a, a now, now an amateur side. They were in his top division now an amateur side. Um, this was interesting, 2-0, absolutely dominated, didn't play great, but they are at our level, sorry, and Real, Real, just Real, the original Real, 4-1 away, they're in our, not in our league, but in our league structure in the third tier, and then we've just played Casablanca, 0-0, so a very good pre-season, we are playing Monk, Monk, we're playing Monk, yeah, we're playing Monk them. They're an amateur side in our division, so we should be beating teams. They have got a couple of players, like, he would be in and around our sort of, like, squad. Their key player, Sal, decent, decent enough, I suppose. He, once again, he would be probably good enough to get into our squad. Interesting, we could probably pick some of these players up if we wanted to at some point. So if there's any people that are banging in goals on an amateur club, I imagine these are going to really struggle. I imagine these are going to really struggle this season. Right, let's let's get into the game. Right, and away we go. What are they rocking with? They're working with a 4-2, well, a 4-4-2, but with two holders. So we'll see how that plays out. First highlight of the game, 12 minutes in. Pinto into Jabari, into Pedrosa. Mano, slip him. Oh, he could have slipped Sakini. He's gone for a cross himself. Shabari's there. Hits the top of the bar. We have got crossing early on, and that was a brilliant delivery from Mano on that right-hand side. Right, free kick. Surely not. We've added it. We get a break. We get a break. Mendy's going to pick that up. He does. Sene. I believe he's the centre-half. He needs to get back in his position. Mendy. Cross early. We've lost the ball. They're going to break on us. Now, I might have to be careful with the crossing early on. I didn't necessarily think that was an opportunity to cross. But we've got the ball back. Sosa into Pedrosa. Into Mendy, who's dropping off. Jabari. Pedrosa. It's a little bit narrow. Zakina. Done well. Semedo. Over the bar. Shooting from distance. 
Right, Mano. Into Mendy. Oh, he's lost it. Lost it. We're going to get it back, though. Andre Sosa. Get past him. Going to cross in. He does. It's cleared. We're going to recycle it. Hopefully, Pedrosa's going to get it. Into Mano. He's probably going to cross from here. No, he's been tackled. Into Pedrosa. Mano. Pedrosa. We've been patient. Samedo. Nice. Now Mano get a delivery in for us. We've got boys in the middle. For the bar again. Decent football. We just haven't broke them down. Oh, no. Okay, Mendy's injured. Right. We'll have to go Martello. Hasn't played at all for us yet. I believe Pinto is struggling as well. He is. Right, let's just get Camo Camo on. No doubt, if I kept him on, he would have only got injured. Right, not great. We've lost our star man against an amateur side that we haven't broke down yet. Right, pump fists. We've been the better team. Just keep at it. Right, 60, coming up 65, the first highlight of the second half. Jabari. We're going to have to probably make another change or do something in a minute. We may have just put the wingers up a little bit higher and go on to attacking because we need to be winning home games. Zakina's in. He must score. He has scored. Linesman's with a... Surely there's no VAR. We're wandering up. The first goal of the season. Zakina, the 33-year-old, one of our veterans. Decent football again. Lovely ball from Sosa. Brilliant first touch and a nice finish. We'll keep it out as it is. We don't need to change. We'll just keep our eye on a couple of players. Semedo is a little bit tired. I'm going to take him off. I'm going to get the opportunity and put Pereira on. Right, are we going to play? Oh, Martello's in. Oh, that's a good save. Good strike. Good first touch as well. We just hope Mendy's not out for too long. Right, there, having a little go at us now. It's going to be their first attempt. No, we're going to get it back. There is Martello. Lovely little nod into Jabari. The Moroccan, Martello, Pereira, slip him. Oh, Kamakamo. Oh, was that outside the foot? I think it was outside the foot. I'm sure he just bent it in with the outside of his foot. Lovely football again. Pereira, Martello was involved. Lovely slip from Pereira. It was. Oh, oh. We'll take that. We will take that. 2 0. Job done. Get, I don't think I can do any more subs, can I? Can I do any more subs? Oh, I can. I'll have to check that. How many subs are actually allowed? I'm not, not in, I've not looked into that. Right, Balde. Come on, clean sheet. We want clean sheets. I could have quite easily gone 4 2 4 and been really aggressive. High press. High line. But we're just keeping it basic. I'd like to just make sure we clean sheets. Jose prides himself on a clean sheet, and I'm no different. Right, that's a big up and under. Let's come down with snow on it. Sene's done well. So got it. He's cutting in. So having a little run. This is the pace that we have off the bench with the two wide players. Pedrosa, Pereira. It's a little bit narrow. We might need to adjust that. Maybe make sure we're a little bit wider. I don't know why they've come in so, come in so narrow. And there we go. Job done. 2-0. Amateur side, yes. But always in control. I'm going to give him a little bit of confidence. We played well, especially second half. Maybe just need to make the pitch a little bit better. Pitch a little bit bigger. They were sat, obviously, quite negative. Two two sitters in front of their back four as well. But we're up and running. Mendy is out for two weeks. Okay, we can we can handle that. Right, boys, what I think we're going to do is next episode we'll come back somewhere in December by the looks of it. I might even play, like, up to ten games. Next episode, will be there'll be two games as well. Interestingly, the board want us to win the league. Now, they're not necessarily wanting us to go into the promotion league and win that, which we'll see us get promoted, but... As a minimum, we need to get this title won. Um, and then if we lose in the playoffs and don't get promoted, they would be happy with that. So we'll. I think it's possible. The only worry is that there's only one place and there may be another team in here that are going to be just as strong as us. The board, the media prediction is 12th and there's only 11 teams in the league. So I don't know how that's worked out, but it, it is what it is. But we're going to really be pushing for promotion hopefully this season all right guys thank you very much for watching make sure you smash a like on today's video for me muchly appreciated the more likes the more views let me know let me know where you think we're going to finish this season now you've seen the squad a little bit let me know down in the comments just put a position number one to 11th um have a guess
see where we're going to finish next episode, Sunday morning, 8 o'clock. Take care, guys. See you later.